haven't been here in a while. Uh, really try to get back to it. Um, I just wanted to share a quick little uh, update. Uh, I'm really thankful for the support I've had with my Ableton template. I think I did it a few years ago. I've been really dormant on it, but I'm excited to get back on into it. Um, so here's a little update. So long story short, the way I would enable my tracks previously was using this record button right here. So just look at the five track. I would turn this on and off, on and off, on and off. Just, just it, enable it, disable it. Um, I would run into issues like clicking whenever I would add more tracks or whenever I switch. Uh, and I was like, I was still learning, so I was I kind of worked around it. Uh, but recently, whenever whenever uh, Ableton did a current update a few months ago, I couldn't uh, enable multiple tracks at the same time using this method. So I was like, this is kind of weird. So I asked around, I was like, I need to find a better version of doing this. I need to fix this because um, I don't think they're ever going to fix it. Um, so I asked my friend David Funk and he's like, hey, I use Chain Selector. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So I want to explain to you guys how to use Chain Selector to enable and disable tracks, which is incredible. There's no click, there's no pops. It's really user friendly and you can always if you have a MIDI controller I have the Nano control whenever it lights up I know it's on it's like I only get to see my Nano control and trust it freely and it's really a great way without things I remember when I was holding a pad I would let's say if I was holding this if I was holding this the same pedal and I would switch my pads it's the same forever the MIDI would loop forever so that it kills that it cancels that out of the picture which I really enjoy um, all right here we go let me show you guys so the first thing you want to do is you want to enable all these tracks. A great way to do it is to highlight all your tracks and then click command and then click on the on the record button. That's a way to enable them uh, all at the same time. And then, so I have this little instrument rack down here. It's really cool. Just to give you a little, con a little idea, it's just an instrument rack. Um, and the way you enable chain selector is by clicking this button right here opens it up, it gives you uh, the patch. If you want to see the patch, it's the second one right here, the yellow one. You can add whatever you want to add to it. Um, and here's where you enable and disable the tracks, right here. So this blue one uh, shows you, blue is on, everything else is off. And you can extend it out however you want. I usually do it one at a time. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little more. I don't know if I can, it's fine. Um, so what you want to MIDI map is this light blue one. You see how this light blue one can go up to 127 to zero. Uh, you want to MIDI map that. So you, by doing that, the way you do that, you, you click command for M, cl command M on your keyboard, it goes all blue. Or you can click this right here. Uh, once you do that, I already mapped this one. So zero is off one is on because the blue is at one the midi note one um, so what i do is i do my minimum at zero and i do my maximum at one i get off of that and whenever i whenever i click it it turns on off on off on off zero one is your first patch same with your second one this is really cool so zero one is your first one that, mean, that means two and three is your second one so that means that means two is off three is on same concept, command M, you want to mini map the light blue one, and then you press it, where whatever MIDI control you're using, just press it, and then from there you go to 0 to 127, again, 2 is off, 3 is on, so you want 2, 3, get off of it, now you can tell on, off, on, playing piano, stops playing it, not playing anything. It's pretty cool. And then off. Great. And then you just continue doing that same concept. I'll do it one more time, a couple more times for you guys, just to get the concept. Um, so we did 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 will be on, 4 will be off. Same exact concept. Command M. Make sure you map 
the blue thing to your controller just by clicking the blue, the light blue one, and then clicking the note you want to map on your controller. There you go. Four is off. Five is on. So four is your minimum. Five is your maximum. Get off of it. And it works like magic. I don't have a. I updated a, con a contact six, so I don't have anything on. But you get the picture. You know, you get the picture. Um. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm also, again, I just want to reiterate, I'm about to release this really simple, really affordable template, this piano on a pad, and then a way to create reverse drones on the spot, which is really, really cool. I use this a lot. And I'm, I'll make it really affordable for you guys. I know a lot of t a lot of times this, w if you see this template, it gets a little overwhelming, and you have a lot of sounds. And it works for some. It works for it doesn't work for others. Um, but I just wanted it to create a more simplified version, especially if you're new to this or you're a local church pastor that wants a really easy way just to have nice pianos and nice pads. Um, I want to create that resource for you. So. Let me know if you have any questions. I know people have probably bought my uh, template before. This is an easy fix, super simple. Uh, the way you would do it um, is just creating an instrument rack, which I believe um, is an instrument. Yeah, so if you go on instruments right here, I'm going to take this off, for example. So let's say you, you're you having the same issue, you just, you know, go back to the contact you got this just pick a uh, pick a piano sound you know you're having the same issues all you do is you go to instruments flip instrument rack drag it to the front and then you drag contact wherever you're at and then you click the bottom button and then you see what this chain make sure you click that chain is and then you can do the whole setup you know zero being off one being on etc so if you have questions just send me a dm or send me an email this is chain selector to enable and disable your tracks let me know if you have any questions